What's up guys, we've owned the Bronco a little over two months and we put about 1200 miles on it. Now it doesn't need an oil change just yet, but I haven't found any videos online about how to change the oil yourself on the new Bronco. So today we're actually going to do an oil change video tutorial, basically to show you guys how to change the oil on your own Bronco. Okay, here's everything you're going to need to complete the oil filter job on the 2.7 liter Bronco. We need an FL 2026A oil filter and O-rings. We're gonna need seven quarts of Motorcraft Synthetic Blend 5W30 motor oil. We're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket and a ratchet or a small impact gun. We need a 27 millimeter socket and a ratchet and a right angle pick. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is loosen the 27 millimeter oil filter housing. We're just gonna let it sit there, but we're gonna loosen it up to break the seal to allow the oil in the housing to drain down into the oil pan. Now we're just going to loosen this all the way up, not going to completely remove it, but just loosen it completely to allow the oil to drain. All right. Next, we're going to raise the vehicle on the hoist and remove the lower shield to access the oil drain plug. All right, so the oil drain plug is up here. So we need to remove this plastic shield here there's six bolts, three on each end, to remove this shield. Now with the shield removed, we can gain access to the oil drain plug. Now this is a toolless style drain plug. You just twist it with your hand. It doesn't look like it's really gonna hit anything. On the F-150, sometimes it hits the sway bar. and I usually put a piece of cardboard in there to deflect it, but this looks like it has a pretty straight shot into the oil drain. Now I'm curious to see where this oil goes because I have never seen anyone change oil on a Bronco yet. It is at a kind of a weird angle. Uh, so hopefully it just comes straight out into the pan. Let's see what happens. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Now the oil does come out fast due to the diameter of the hole in the pan. So you wanna make sure you have a big enough pan and it could splash up. So just be prepared for that. Once the oil is completely drained, you can go ahead and reinstall a drain plug. Basically, just put it in and turn it uh, three quarters of a turn. Go ahead and wipe off any excess. And we're going to reinstall the lower shield. So originally, I didn't realize this shield is slotted. So we're going to go ahead and just start this bolt in by hand. We can slide the shield up in there and get it started. That's rough. Now that'll hold the shield in place and you can install the other bolts much easier. Uh -oh. With the oil completely drained and the shield reinstalled, we're gonna lower the vehicle down and replace the oil filter. All right, so like I said, next we're gonna remove the oil filter housing completely and replace the filter. I laid some rags down here because sometimes you will get some oil still coming out of there and then we're gonna put it into the oil drain. Oh, 
sometimes the filter stays in there. So we're gonna go ahead and just wiggle that out and make sure we don't get oil everywhere. There's a little bit there dripping. All right, so normally we would basically have to pull it out of the housing, uh, but this time it actually stuck on the engine side. No big deal. Next, we're gonna remove the three O-wings with a right angle pick and replace them. Now we're gonna slide the new rings onto the housing. It's a better color. <laughs> Matches the car most of. Once the other rings are replaced, we could firmly install the filter into the housing, make sure it's seated at the bottom, makes a nice thud, and then install the housing back into the engine. When I'm using the larger five gallon jugs of oil, I usually cut a little V notch in there to let it breathe, lets the oil come out much faster. All right, we put the recommended seven quarts of oil in the car. We started it up, we let it run for 30 seconds. Uh, we let it cool back down, are ready to check the oil. All right, perfect, right on the line. The last thing we're going to do is reset the oil life. We're gonna use the buttons on the steering wheel. We're gonna scroll all the way down to settings, hit OK, hit OK at oil life, and then we're gonna press and hold OK until it resets to 100%. Very easy. All right, so that's pretty much it for the oil change video on the Bronco. It is fairly easy to do, um, but the, the bolts for that shield, they do have Loctite on them and they're, they're kind of big. So doing that by hand on the ground would, would take a little bit of doing. I definitely recommend having some kind of uh, impact gun to help ease uh, removing those. Um, but other than that, it's, it's really straightforward. Seven quarts of oil, um, fairly easy job. You could definitely do this on your own. And you probably wouldn't even need a jack if you had the Sasquatch package, uh, cause you could probably just slide right into the car with a creeper and get to it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully learned something about changing the oil on your own Bronco. Thanks for checking out my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and have a great day. What's up, guys? Today, well, that's hard. what's up, guys? <laughs> this is hard, babe. It's hard. All right, so, Colin? Mm hmm.